Day 10. Since Moses and Aaron were not allowed to enter the Promised Land, Joshua was chosen as the leader of Israelites and to lead them into the Promised Land. Now you may have not noticed, his original name was Hosea, which means salvation, but Moses changed the name to Joshua, which means the Lord is salvation, or God saves. He was present with Moses during their intimate encounters with the Lord in the meeting tent. Besides Aaron, you could say Joshua was Moses' right-hand man. He was... He was one of the 12 spies sent into Canaan, the Promised Land, to plan for the invasion. It was him and Caleb that were confident that, that Israelites will be victorious, knowing that the Lord will be with them, while the other 10 doubted. Before Moses died, he was chosen to succeed Moses as the leader of the Israelites and to guide them to conquer Canaan. When Moses laid his hands upon him, he was filled with the spirit of wisdom and under his leadership, the Israelites were able to capture Jericho, a stronghold of the Canaanites. And while they were capturing Jericho, the Lord told them not to take any spoils from the city. Sadly, one Israelite disobeyed that commandment by stealing some gold and silver, and this affected the conquest, so Joshua punished the disobedient Israelite and afterwards they were victorious in their battles. As they continued on with the conquest, Joshua divided up the land among the 12 tribes, and you could find much more details on from the book of Joshua. Joshua also renewed the covenant that God formed with the Israelites through Moses, knowing that the Israelites could easily turn away from God and forget his promises. So he wrote down the ordinances as a means of renewal. And the reason why Joshua was very successful was not because of his amazing skills, but rather his complete dependence on God who gave him direction. And if you look at all his victories, they're all attributed to God. We also find real success in relying on God besides just depending on our talents and skills. During the season of Lent, as we pray, fast, and give alms, they should be used as a means not just get closer to God, but enable us to hear the voice of God and understand His will for each of us so that we may be fruitful in all of our endeavors. May God bless you all.